Welcome back. In this video, I'll be cutting the limber holes. What's a limber hole? Key thing to note if you're doing this on a full size boat is to cut your limber holes now. So these will be holes through the frames here that will allow water to drain backwards through the boat. And they should be done on the uh, outward side of the stringers here and the outward side of the keel either side to allow water to run freely through the bilge of the boat. Okay, let's get to work. Due to the shape of the boat, I cut the limber holes three different ways. I'll start by detailing method one, a method that I learned from about a 10 year old video that Dan Lee made when he was building Rocket. So here I'm making a jig to cut the limber holes. And the idea of this jig is I'm going to mount my router to it. And I'm gonna have these stops here such that when the router is on the bottom side of this and I have the router bit set here that when I push it right up to the stringers and the keel this router bit cut the uh, limber holes in each of the frames right alongside the keel and each of the stringers. If we pretend this is like a stringer or a keel, what I want to do is have this butt, this jig butt right up here and then have this router bit just cut the frame flush to it. So that's what this is supposed to do is stop the router from cutting into the keel and the stringers but cut through the frames. This line here represents the line where the keel and the stringer will butt up to. My bit here is three quarter inch in diameter. So to center this bit and have it come right to the edge, I have marked three eighths of an inch in. So I want my router centered right there. To do that, I put basically a centering bit in here. And what I'm gonna do is turn this router on and I'm gonna put a hole right there through the center of this. And I'm just slowly gonna bring it down is all I'm gonna do. I just wanna get it centered here. Okay, so when I turn this on, nothing happens. But if I plug it in, Let's try that again. If I plug it in. I think what I want to do now is screw this in place. I got these three mounting holes here, here, and here. So while I didn't get everything on camera, I added these side rails to this jig so that when I put it against the stringer, the keel, I have a better chance of holding it flat. So And it looks like my jig worked pretty well to cut out the flush part of the limber holes. I'm gonna use this jig 
to cut the holes on the outside of each stringer and the keels. And then I'm gonna use a round bit to cut it further. I just gotta decide how deep I need to cut this. So first test run worked pretty well. After consulting on the Dan Lee Boat Building Forum, I chose three quarter inches deep and about one and one quarter inches wide for the limber holes. But as you'll see, my methodology meant that things didn't always work out exactly right. For frames four through 13, this method worked really pretty well, but as I got to the front of the boat, the angle became so steep that it was really hard to use this method. On the port side, you get a better view that because the angle is so steep, I really don't make a very deep cut in each of the frames. Before moving on to method number two, I decided to clean up the side of the keel with the belt sander. In some cases, I had screws in the way, which I had to remove. So my big box idea had some issues. I couldn't cut the uh, limber holes as everything started curving more. So what I did here is I mounted a, a guide board to the top of the stringer and using a, I think they're called mini or compact router, what I'm gonna do, and it has a guide bit, so this will, this guide will run along the, the guide rail up here, and it should cut flush. But I've already leveled this so it's straight up and down. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and route it. In the end, I found that the three quarter inch bit worked better than the narrow one inch long bit. Okay, so I use the flush mount bit to clean this up and get a nice um, edge for the limber hole right up along the stringer. Now, I built this jig just out of scrap quarter inch plywood and I put a hard stop here. And the idea is to butt this up and have the round router bit come right to the edge. I've adjusted the router to be perpendicular when it's sitting on this. So it should come right in and clean out that edge. So that's what I'm gonna do now to finish up this limber hole. Just using my jig, what you'll see will happen here is there will be a limber hole once we put the planking on. 
as you can see, getting the depth right is a little bit challenging. On frame one, I had found that the angle was so steep that the best tool was a handsaw. Therefore, in the end, I use a combination of all three methods. That completes the cutting of the limber holes. I still need to sand them, smooth them out, and then obviously seal them with three layers of epoxy. I think I'll do this after I get all the frames, keels, and stringers fared. Till then, let's take a look at the limber holes one last time. Till next time, cheers.